Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to be getting ready with you for my formal. So this is going to be the finished look. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, be sure to just keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my makeup, or maybe I should do my hair so it has time to fall out. Maybe we're going to do hair. So I am using this Conair 3 quarters of an inch instant heat curling iron it has the clamp but i don't use the clamp i use it more as like a wand which i guess i should probably just invest in a wand but this is like cheap from walmart and like it does the job so why not so i am going to be curling my hair with a center part so we're just gonna find that really quick so i'm gonna section it off by the way i straightened my hair this morning so my curls are gonna fall loose um usually if i don't straighten my hair first they're like super tight curls and like i can't not curl it that way so a lot of you have asked how i curl my hair and the main picture you guys are asking on was when it was straightened first so just um so you know that so like i said i'm just gonna take this and use it as a wand See, so it's falling much more loose than it usually would. I'm taking fairly small pieces, especially for the bottom, because the bottom I feel like falls out easier, and especially by the time I'm done. So these will be a little bit tighter, um, but obviously fall out by the time that I am finished. And so obviously I'm just going to do this all over my head. I mean, if you just like doing like a quarter of your hair curled and the rest straight, then I mean, you do you. But um, I'm not really into that look for myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my head. Well... All right, so one side is done, obviously. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I usually, if I don't straighten my hair first, I will not use a hairspray because my hair will hold to anything. So I don't usually, but um, because it's straight and I know it's gonna fall out really fast, I just did the literally lightest spritz of hairspray ever with like each layer I did. I almost kind of regret doing each layer, but it's not like crunchy or anything. It's just like hopefully gonna hold a little bit better. Um, I'm just using the Chi Helmet Head Extra Firm Hairspray. I literally just got this at like Marshalls for like three bucks. So that's the only reason I'm using it because I never use hairspray really. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side and I will be back. All right, so the hair is complete. So now we're gonna go on to makeup. So for this, I think I'm just gonna like take two of these clips and just like pin it back because I don't want to get makeup in my hair. I think we're gonna do that. <laughs> Look really good. Hopefully that doesn't mess up anything. <laughs> First, we're gonna start with my rose water, obviously. And before that, I put on this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, so I'm not gonna put any more on just because it's already on. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Professional Pore Primer by Benefit. I used to literally use this religiously. I'm sure if you've watched me for a while, you know that. But I stopped using it for a while, and then I was like, you know what, I really want a primer, so... Sam was like, have you ever used this one? And I was like, actually, yeah, I forgot about it. So we're back at it. I don't use it on an everyday basis, but because we're going out, we're gonna use it. So next, because I just self-tanned, and my face isn't that that tan, but it's definitely much too tan for my foundation. Um, I'm gonna be mixing these two together. This one is like a pro coverage foundation and then this one is just like a little bit darker. 
I usually use the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation on a daily basis, but it doesn't have great coverage. I do really like it for an everyday foundation, but not for this. So I'm going to be taking some of this on here, mixing it with a little bit of dish. Oh, that was much more than I anticipated. Going with the Dampened Beauty Blender and just blend this all out. Wow, on this camera, I look so pale. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring, highlighting, you know the gist. I usually use the Tarte Shape Tape, but I am like all out, as you can see. I'm gonna be going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Definition. Um, this is concealer, but so I got like a lighter color. This is the color Porcelain, and then I got in a darker color Almond to like contour with. So I am just going to go in and highlight up my face. Now I'm going to go in with the darker one. I usually blend out the nose with my finger just because it is so easy to like mess up and make your nose look like fat. <laughs> I find it easier to blend out with my finger. Hey, now that I look horrifying. Okay, so now before I set it, before I set anything, I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows because I keep doing my eyebrows afterwards and then I'm wiping off my makeup, so I'd rather be able to touch it up before, you know? I think that's what normal people do. Maybe they even do it before their face makeup. I don't really know, I'm not normal. At the moment, I'm using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. Because my roots are darker and I plan on going darker with my hair, I want to do my brows darker. So that is why I'm using this color. I might also use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but this is a lighter color, so I don't really know if it's going to go that well. But we'll see. I'll be back. Okay, so I did end up going in with the pomade because my brows were not cooperating. So... Again, I just used the pomade in the color caramel and then the pencil in the color espresso. So now I'm going to go in with my powder and set everything. I'm just using this e.l.f. HD powder at the moment. I ran out of my... Yeah, the one I usually do. I'm blanking on what it's called. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm just using this. I don't like love it. I don't hate it. Um, I just kind of hate when my face is matte, so, which, you know, kind of all, um, setting powders would do. So I'm just going ahead and, like, patting it on. Whenever I put my, like, bronzer over, um, it usually gets better. It's not as, like, cakey's not the right word, but, like, kind of. Jeez, I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. Okay. Now I'm going to be going in and bronzing up my face a little bit. So I'm going in extra as always with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Bronzer. Warming up where I contoured.
Then going in with the next step up, my medium dark chocolate soleil. And I'm just going in the same spots. I'm just really trying to add some dimension. And I'm also gonna be taking the bronzer on a smaller brush and going in and contouring my nose just a little bit. Next, I'm going to be going in with my blush, which I guess I should probably have ready to show you. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the color 5 Luminoso. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add some color. And then as always, going in with my Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the color Be My Highlight. Now onto eyeshadow. I'm gonna be going in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm not gonna be doing anything like too, too crazy just because I never like when I go crazy. I always regret it immediately. Okay, so everyone always hypes up Morphe brushes and I was like, they're probably not that different, whatever. I bought one, dude, they're worth the hype. This is the best thing I've ever spent money on. So if you're questioning it, get it. I'm going in with my Avon eyeshadow brush and then I'm going to go into the crease with my Morphe M441. Onto the lid. I'm just going to do like a brown look. Sounds nice. I'm going to go in with this top color here and then I'm going to follow the crease by this color right below it. I'm also just going to be taking this tiny little elf brush here, putting that crease color on and dragging it underneath my bottom lash line. Yes. Look how freaking pretty these lashes are. They look so good. They're like the fluffiest things they ever. They look so good. Thank you. Say hello. Hello, friends. <laughs> I look naked like this. <laughs> she is. I am. Surprise! <laughs> they're like the full. Those look really things. good. And they're like a thin band. Like they're yeah. like the wispies band. Yeah. Yeah, those look really good. These are good. like my new favorites. Wow. How much were they? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. Like affordable to wear on an everyday basis? Yeah, I mean, they're like kiss lashes. I mean, they yeah. can't be like too, too bad. Yeah. I think I'm gonna like stick with this with my hair and really just like- Yeah, it looks really good. Pieces out once I like get my yeah. dress on, but- Looks really nice. Yeah, your hair is like really pretty. It's gonna like- Thank you. Oh, honestly. Yeah. I don't know if I need to touch up pieces after this. You like it? I, I think, think I might should, just go like this. No, you I think? think you should keep them in. All right, we've decided. Yeah, that's, that's your hairstyle for now. Yeah, I'm almost ready. Sweet. I'm like tempted to add darker colors, but then I'm gonna regret it, so I should just stop. It's gonna stain my comforter. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go in, curl my lashes, throw some mascara on. You guys know I usually use Better Than Sex, but right now I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit. It's okay, I don't really like it when I'm putting it on fake lashes. For my natural lashes, it's all right, um, but not for my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so the eyelashes are curled, mascara is on, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes. I'm switching it up, I know, we'll see. I haven't even tried them. They're like really pretty, so I feel like they'll be okay. These are the Kish Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection, and they're in the style Brazier. So, take a look at them. <laughs> they are a little bit of a thicker band, which I'm not always a huge fan of. 
Oh no, I think they're gonna be pretty. We're gonna try to not cut them. I might regret that really soon. These are so pretty. And it's not too thick of a band either. It's like not bad. They're not uncomfortable. And I didn't even cut them, which I probably should have a little bit, but oh well. I don't wanna do a lip, but I should probably do a lip. So here's the deal. I don't have a sharpener, but this is um, real dead. Would it be gross to put it in here? <coughs> Worked like a charm. All right, so this is the finished look. I just threw on, what did I throw on? <laughs> oh. Here it is. This NYX liquid lingerie in the color Bedtime Flirt. It's just like a pinkish nude color. I feel like it goes really nicely with the eyeshadow. And I threw on the dress. I will clip in pictures and everything of me like wearing it here. But um, I gotta go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And a big thumbs up for more videos coming your way. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to click that button down below or this button right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you later. Bye.